You join us today at the fantastic Ripley Castle shoot in Yorkshire to see how their head gamekeeper, Dave Cockshop, prepares for a shoot. Ripley Castle Estate, situated on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales National Park amongst beautiful countryside. This fantastic estate hosts some of the best pheasant shooting in the UK and offers up some amazing birds. However, pheasant shooting isn't all about shooting birds. It's a social event and offers a chance for groups to get together to enjoy each other's company and to build friendships. Some of the best shoots offer the best hospitality alongside great birds to create a fantastic day for all. The pheasant shooting season starts on October the 1st and ends on February the 1st and as a result it can be a muddy affair but always enjoyable. I catch up with the head gamekeeper at Ripley Castle to find out more about what the role involves and to find out a little more about the estate and a commercial shoot. We're here at the Castle shoot today and we're here with head keeper Dave Cockshaw. Hi Dave, pleasure Hello. to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Right, we're going to shadow you today and have a, a, a ride around with you and just see what um, a, a keeper does in a day on a commercial shoot. So what the first kind of job we'll have today would be? Well, basically our job at the moment is to, going to go feed the pheasants. Yeah. That's what we do at this time of year, we either feed pheasants or we're out shoot on a shoot day. Okay. So we'll, we'll take you around and uh, Go off, feed some how, many, how many days a week do you shoot generally on the on the estate? Uh, we shoot generally about five days a week here. Five days a week, so it doesn't give you much time off, day. It doesn't, no, we've just got the one day for feeding, which is today. Yeah. And then uh, so the rest of the week we're on feeding. So what is it that we're, we're feeding here? Is um, pheasant swift? Is it corn this is or a maize? This is broken maize, this is. Broken maize. And these are all, all your feeders? These are all feeders, yeah. Yeah. They have one for one for wheat, one for maize, and one whatever's left in the wagon goes into the end one. How long do these last you? Well, last us a couple of weeks. Really? That's yeah. A lot of birds. We can get through like a, a salad of uh, of wheat every week. The maize will last about a month. We generally feed the broken maize where there's a lot of a uh, lot of partridge. Okay, they like that, do they? The partridge like it, yeah. Um, Pheasants do like it as well, but we try to keep them on the wheat if we can, it's a bit, a bit cheaper. They don't, don't stray as much. It's good feed for them. And you say it's a regular group of guns that come to this shoot then, so it's the same. You yeah, you have, 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 have the regular people yeah. that come, and also we have a lot of uh, individuals that come to join teams of guns as well. Yeah, it's which, guests, can't they? Yeah, which, yeah, they're just new people to the shoot. So, a lot of the ways it works well, it works well. Mm. They're always a very good social event, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Any, any shoot day so is a good social event, no matter what it is. Yeah. We do have a, a varied selection of ground to shoot over. Mm. We have the, we've, got, we've got the valleys, lots of open fields and stuff. It's a good variation, I think. Yeah, it's not very often you get that, is it, where you get flat ground, wooden yeah, ground and valleys? Yeah, it's, it's generally either one or the other. Yeah, that'll do. Hell, it is wet. This one that drives, yeah. Yeah, we'll push these little woods up at the bottom into the main wood, which is just over at the side of the game crop there. Drive them all up, 
then flush them all back that way. So you bring them from all the way up? <coughs> yeah, off. we do, yeah. What you do is do a drive at the bottom side first, which pushes it, which we drive it, the guns shoot, then we, while they're preparing themselves, having a quick drink, we'll push this wood up here, push everything up into it and uh, make it a good one. What's this been then, this, this uh, crop in here? This is canary grass. Canary grass. And that side, it's uh, artichokes. Is that holding quite well then? That holds it well, yeah, it's nice and at bottom of there. Yeah, we have a lot of it now because it looks after itself year on year. Yeah, so you don't need that. So what do you do with that then? Just leave, just cut it down and leave just, it? Yeah, we'll just top it off uh, springtime. But it just grows again. So you ever put maize down as it, as it come up? We across? have, we don't do as much for you to do, we just have a little bit now. I bet the beaters enjoy that then. Um, it's, not, it's a nightmare to get through. Yeah, we it? try and make sure it doesn't get quite as long as <laughs> some place, yeah. What's that, Dave? Yeah, a bit of a yeah, that's where the uh, squirrels, the squirrels chew through the side of the hopper. I suppose it's just a way it's like rats that just chew at things and yeah. just gnaw the teeth and chap and teeth down there. They do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Push on. White one. White partridge. Yeah, that's quite unusual to see, isn't it? Yeah. I dread to think what the um, the fine is for shooting one of them, Dave. It's a uh, fifty pound fine to shoot one of them. So with the white partridges, once we've shot them and they paid the £50, does it, does it go into a kitty? It goes, all goes to charity. Oh, brilliant stuff. We, we look after two or three charities yeah. through the season. That's great. The uh, sweet money, we do a sweep on a shoot game, that goes to charity. Put a mixture down or...? We... We have three types really. We have uh, there's melanistic, there is Manchurian, and there are uh, there's anti. There are our three types of fence we put down. What do you do with all the birds, Dave? Is the game you got a local game dealer picks them up? Or yeah, you? game dealer comes picks them up, protects everything. We sell them to Bar's Head the Village. Is it a local uh, key, um, game dealer or uh, Richmond? It's not right local, but there's one we've got here. Birds fed now. We've been around. There's some some cracking looking drives. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see how they fly, how the birds go over the guns tomorrow. Should be good. What's the weather forecast for tomorrow? Uh, I think it's supposed to be pretty much what it is now. Excellent. That'd be fine then, wouldn't it? Be fine. Yeah. A bit more breeze would be nice, but uh, mm. as long as there's no rain and no snow. It's a fair. Okay. It's a fair old setup we got here, Dave. It's a, it's it is, a big yeah. operation. It really is. Yeah, it's, it just works well. It's just we're getting there now. It's, yeah. It's good. Yeah. This is our game cart. This is where we. We take it out and back of the cupboard from the shoot day. It can hold up to up to 300. You can have 300 birds on there, can you? 300 birds in there, yeah. Blimey. It's all part of the regulations now, isn't it? That you got to have. It is, yeah. Uh, it's got to be designed to keep the birds cool. And keep the birds cool and uh, so that the flies. And this is where all the uh, spent cartridges are stored. Blimey. Bags of them. It looks like we're mean, uh, mean while they've been out and down the pigeons. But we maybe got about 40 pigeons for that, and I took out with you. Yeah. What do you do with these then? Do these go for recycling? They then? all go for recycling, yeah. I see, I noticed there's a company doing them now, isn't it? They, they split them up. Agricycle, yeah, they're. Yeah. Pegs. Pegs, yeah, they're a lot of old pegs. Do they make, they used to leave them out now just kind of for the season? You know, you put the stop pegs out, you have to change them around now and again? No, they stop out for the season once they're out. Yeah. We, uh, there's some drives that don't put pegs out because of sheep and cattle and stuff. Yes. We don't do it. <laughs> we have varied type of small sheds for small numbers of birds and then they've got all the big sheds for the big lots of the buying. I bet that's kept you busy in the summer. Oh, very busy. Very busy, yeah. And that's to keep a few sheep over the winter just to keep the grass down. Yeah, they're doing a good job, aren't they? They're doing a very good job. Really looking forward to tomorrow, seeing yep. how these birds fly. I'm yep. pretty sure they'll be good. I want to see someone take one of those white partridges. They will make sure they pay the £50 uh, fine. We shall try and see what we can do. Great stuff. I'll let you get on with it. Pleasure. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. Thank you. Cheers. See you later. Tune in next time 
to see us follow Frank Body's team of guns at the magnificent Ripley Castle shoot. 